What is going on guys? It's your boy Void here. Today, um, I am still working on the 100 series. If you watched my video before, you know that I'm working on this series where I ask 100 software engineers the same question. And just to try to make a cool little collage type video, that's still happening, that's still a thing. That's going to take me a very long time because getting 100 people interviewed and then editing 100 different videos together, it's a lot. It's a lot of work, so yeah, just bear with me in the meantime. In the meantime, I am going to be releasing some videos that I have been wanting to release that are interesting or entertaining or whatever the case may be. If you are interested in helping with the 100 series, please email Mr. Void Business down below. Um, it's in the description if you need help spelling business like I did. and. Uh, while you're there looking at the description, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Now, let's get into the video. Today, we are talking about um, this kind of a long awaited video. I've had like tidbits of the information in other videos, but I decided to make a dedicated video to this. And this is how much does Google pay their software engineers? And while that's a difficult question to answer because not every software engineer makes the same amount. There are levels to it, software engineer one, two, three, senior, all that stuff. So it does vary a lot from level to level. It also varies from location to location. So I'm gonna be working in Seattle. Um, it might not pay as much as the Bay, the Bay Area Mountain View headquarters for Google, but it does pay more than let's say Austin or Colorado. Um, so these smaller places where the cost of living is lower. So it's going to vary. And while I can't answer that specifically, I can tell you guys how much I am going to be making and what my offer letter currently says. They're going to be different from for every Google software engineer that you talk to. And just to like kind of preface this, um, this isn't intended to brag or anything. This is not intended for, I mean, it's real. The, the intention of this is really to either, it's either to entertain, like whether you're just curious how much Google pays its software engineers or to inform whether you are a software engineer looking at new grad roles, your CS major, that kind of stuff, or even to, even to inspire. So, while I don't think that people should get into software engineering just for the money, I do think that it's a pretty big portion of your decision process. And when you're deciding on what you want to do when you're older or when you go into college or when you're picking a degree field to study in, it's a big portion. So it's important to know. And if money it does motivate you, then maybe this can motivate you. Um, so the first part is going to be salary. Actually, my salary has been weird in the sense that it is not what my offer originally said. It is $118,000 now. Um, that's in Seattle, um, pre-tax. So originally my offer letter said $113,000, but after Google did some market research to figure out like the compensations in that area for software engineers, they decided to bump it up by 5,000. So that was really, really nice of them because I signed my offer at 113,000 and afterwards they gave me the $5,000 bump, which is really nice. Um, this isn't anything that I did special, like literally everyone who signed a new grad Google and software engineer offer got this extra bump in the Seattle office. So I didn't really have to do anything. I didn't like perform well to get that bonus, but it is really awesome. It's a high salary. I'm very appreciative of it. And yeah, that's the salary portion. There is this weird portion that is a like target bonus, depending on your performance reviews, which happen, I believe twice a year, you will be rated like uh, doesn't meet expectations, meets expectations, exceeds, and all that stuff. And based off that, you get a bonus on top of your pay. Um, if you meet your expectations, at my level, I am going to be receiving 15% bonus. Um, so 15% of $118,000 is $17,700. Um, did I just do that math in my head? 
of course I'm a Google engineer. Of course I did that in my head and I didn't just edit out me looking it up on Google. Anyways, um, the next part. <laughs> so the next part is going to be stock. Um, this is going to be the most negotiable area of your Google offer if you have an offer. Um, Google stock, it's the cheapest thing for them to give out to you and you have to stay there over a period of time to be able to get all of that stock. Um, my offer letter says that I am getting $175,000 in stocks or RSUs, restricted stock units, um, which means that they don't come out to me immediately. It means I get a quarter every year. So that means I will be receiving $43,750 worth of Google stock every year that I work at Google. And in order to hit that 175,000, I have to stay there for four years. So that's what that's going to look like. What I'm gonna be doing with my RSUs, well, that is another video, another question. I do plan on making an RSU video, so stay tuned and let me know down below if that's a video that you want. So next part, we have the signing bonus. This part is fun. And all these parts are honestly pretty fun because they all involve like pretty large sums of money, especially for a new grad coming out of college. Um, while yes, sure, yeah, I have a degree in computer science at UT from UT Austin, so it is like, it's a good degree, but nonetheless, that's a lot of money regardless. And I don't come from a place where I'm like my family, like I'm not used to having this kind of money around. So it's, it's, it's very exciting. <laughs> but the signing bonus is actually going to be $75,000. So Google doesn't always do signing bonuses. This is the part that you're going to have to like, if you don't have another offer, you might not get a signing bonus at all, or it might be significantly lower. Luckily, I had a Facebook offer and was able to push it up to match my Facebook offer's signing bonus, um, and that's gonna be $75,000 that is taxed. I don't get that money until after I start though, which kind of makes the term signing bonus a little weird, but nonetheless, it's a lot of money. All of this together is kind of insane, especially for a new grad. like. It's ridiculous, but the amount of money that software engineers create for these companies is also quite ridiculous. So it's definitely a great field to be in. It's a really great time to be in it as well. I don't think that like, sure, I've worked hard to be in this position, but honestly, if you're a software engineer and you're watching this video and you're thinking, man, that sucks, like my salary is not that high. It's partially luck, it's partially work, it's, it's a lot of things combined. I did, like there was a lot of sacrifice that went into it. I may not have had the most fun social life throughout college compared to other people. And that was something I sacrificed to be able to like interview prep more and whatnot. And there's a certain amount of luck in it too. Like. I failed plenty of Google interviews before I got an offer and that's just kind of how it went. Like it really depended on the interviewers who were interviewing me that day, the questions they gave me that day, their moods that day, my mood that day, my performance that day. Like it came down to a lot of things. So I definitely think anyone is capable of doing it. So if you are a software engineer, you could also be making that amount as well. Um, I really don't mean to make this make anyone feel bad or to brag about this at all. Um, but yeah, that is my total compensation. That is pretty hefty. I'm really excited um, to be starting at Google, not just for the money. It's also a great company to work at. There's a lot of cool products. I actually think they have some of the coolest products of like the big, the big N tech companies. Um, I'm a big fan of, of a lot of their platforms. Um, so all around, I'm really excited for this job. Google, please don't fire me before anything comes out. But um, I did look into this. I am allowed to share uh, numbers. Not quite the uh, actual letter, or at least I'm not sure if I'm allowed to share the actual letter. So I am going to not do that. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below and make sure you hit that like and subscribe once more. That kind of concludes my, my Google software engineer 
salary, total compensation, whatever you want to call it. I will see you guys next time.